like a pile of junk now, but it'll soon be the best BMX course ever. We'll build it right over there. Hang on, what's that? Party don't start till this afternoon. Eh? Whose party? Oh, Athena. I might have guessed. It's my summer party, Dennis. Didn't you get the invitation? Was it in a glittery pink envelope? Like, yes. Lavender scented. Nasha ate it. <sighs> Everyone got one. Uh, I thought it was junk mail. I dropped a pie on mine, and then Nasha ate it too. Well, you were all invited to come and see me mix with A-list supermodels and it girls. And DJ Crazy will be laying down some banging tunes. Yes! It's going to be the Beano Town event of the year! That's tough, because we're building a BMX Assault Course Challenge right here, right now. What? You can't! We can! No! I forbid it! You can't do BMXing near my party! Just you try and stop us! This means war, Dennis! to Athena's party? No a chance, Walter. Phew! Oh, Thank goodness. I wouldn't want you lowering the tone. <laughs> oh, that hammering is so annoying! Oh, so lovely to be invited to a proper grown-up party. You're very early, Walter. I thought you might need some help to get the party going. <laughs> so, I bought you a CD of Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Perfect. This'll drown out Dennis. What's that howling? Is someone hurt? Oh. It's not us, Den. What she makes of this. The Din Makers full blast all the way up to 11. <laughs> ha! You can't get rid of us that easily, Athena. <sighs> should be doing this, Athena. Health and safety, you know. Ugh. Who cares? I have a balloon crisis! Get blowing! Oh, wait you are. Oh, I 
need pie to calm me down. Oh, that's better. How long do we have to stay at this party, Keisha? Until the little hand points to the twelve, I think. We'd better be the only glamorous, good-looking people there. Oh, that must be it! Hello? Is this the party? Sorry, this is an exclusive event. <laughs> exclusive? That's my middle name. <laughs> Come on, girls. All right, I can't wait. <laughs> what is this music? Shepul Crash Car! You'll have to change it. And we'll need canopies. And some spectacular entertainment. I don't think so. What? Oh, nobody says no to us. We're a list. A -list. Like we care. <gasps> this is strictly for BMXs. <laughs>
my tricks really livened up the family day at your dad's work. <laughs> I knew I'd find you here. It's my boss, Mr Scrimp. He wants both of us to report to his office right away. Oh, dear. I knew I shouldn't have taken you to the family day. Coming. <laughs> ah, what's his name? Yeah, I want a word with this son of yours. So, young what's-his-name, was it you who put soap flakes in the cistern of the executive toilet? Me? I'm sure it was some sort of mis- Quiet, what's-his-name. I'm talking to the boy. Hmm. And are you the same little rascal who put wind-up piranha fish in the water cooler? Stick out your tongue, Miss Jones. <laughs> well, that was just... Fair enough. It was me. And to liven things up a bit, this place is so boring! No. <laughs> Excellent. That's quite a boy you've got there. What's his name? Eh? The thing is, we're creating a new range for the young consumer, and we need young what's-his-name's expertise. How do you fancy creating your very own range of the ultimate practical jokes, eh? We'd call them the Menace Collection. Wow! You want me to design jokes? Exactly. You see, we've been having some problems with our prototypes. Cast your expert eye over them, young man. We tried to upgrade the squirty flower by inventing the squirty bouquet. <laughs> Certainly wet enough, but difficult to direct. Hmm, I see the problem. Let's see how good a golfer you are. What's his name? <laughs> As you see, our exploding golf balls don't always work. <laughs> I see. I'm sure I can improve that lot. Excellent. You have full access to my design team. A good man. Thanks for bringing young What's-His-Name to my attention. Oh, by the way, can you get hold of a pair of tartan trousers and a diamond-checked sweater? Yes, I think so. Good. Then you must join me at the golf club on Sunday. Me? At the golf club? Wow, I, I, I mean... Uh, of course, Mr. Scrimp. Get ready for joke number one, Mr. Scrimp, which Walter's kindly volunteered to test. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Time to give each plant its daily drink. Oh, I see. A new bush. Hmm. Father must have planted it. Wow! It's watering me! <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find the squirty bush outwets the squirty bouquet. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, bravo. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello. Uh, a spherical object approaching me from a, from a westerly direction. Oh, I can't resist it. Exploding golf balls. Ha! I take things to the max. <laughs> I love the added helping of green guns. <laughs> A master stroke. Well, what do you think of my outfit? Well, I do. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, you should have seen that lad of yours. What's his name? He's really coming up with the goods. All we need now is one top of the range joke, and we're ready. Ready? Ready for what? Ready to open our first Menace Collection joke shop right here in Beano Town. I'll rent this place to some chap called Ho Ho or He He or something. You mean Mr. Ha Ha? That's the fellow. Anyway, we're going to close him down, then reopen as our very own joke shop. But Mr. Ha Ha's been there for years. Exactly. Time he got another job. But... So put your thinking cap on. I want to see something really special. <laughs> and I'll see you at the golf club on Sunday, what's his name? Mike Minasha, I think I must be dreaming. <laughs> C 
So, you found out that Mr Scrimp wants to close you down. How, how did you know that? Cos I'm the one who's inventing the jokes for the new store. Oh, no. Oh, yes. If I come up with a knockout practical joke, you'll lose your shop. If I don't, I won't get me dream job. And poor Dad won't get to the golf club. But, but, practical jokes are my life. Imagine never smelling another steak bomb, never feeling the tingle of a hand buzzer, never scaring Walter with a jumping spider. There must be a way out. Hang on. Nasha, get Curly and Pieface for a treehouse meeting. Top priority. Yes. So that's the problem. To put Scrimp off pranks for life, we need to come up with the mother of all practical jokes. It's got to be the biggest, best practical joke ever. What about a mega loud whoopee cushion? Or a super stinky stink bomb? Or a turbo powered space hopper? But wait, imagine if you will, not just a whoopee cushion, not just a stink bomb, not just a space hopper, but all these things rolled into one bouncy castle. The three in one. This is the ultimate, Mr Scrimp, the greatest of all practical jokes. Mm. Looks just like an ordinary bouncy castle to me. But it's so much more. Really? Presenting the three in one. One, two, three. Three awesome gags in one. I see. Well, it sounds good, but I have to see it in action. All I can say is it would take a brave man to try it out. A brave man, eh? Hmm. How about you? What's his name? Oh, no, uh, Mr Scrimp. I, I really think you should have the honour. Oh, well, uh, all right. Uh, here goes. a leaf out of place, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what the...? Wasn't us! <laughs> oh, oh, I can't swim! Help me! You know what to do, Nasha! Nobody told me practical jokes could be this dangerous. Oh, the project's off. Finished. Finito. But it, no buts, what's his name? Oh, jokes like this would ruin the company. Oh, so does that mean my invitation to golf's withdrawn? Eh? Not at all. Well, it turns out Scrimp's not going to close me down. Thanks to the three-in-one. And you've given me a great idea for a mini version. The Menace Ball. <laughs> Watch, listen and smell. <laughs> Plenty more ideas where that came from, Mr Ha Ha. What a brilliant day. Wonder how Dad's enjoying his game of golf. Keep up, what's his name? Come on, man! <laughs> yes, Mr. Scrimp. Of course, Mr. Scrimp. Oh, boy, what's 
Walter up to now? With origami, you can fashion paper into objects of exquisite beauty. Objects of beauty? Hmm, good. And also give your enemies a good scare. <gasps> scare my enemies? Ha! Huh, even better! One more lesson and you will be a black belt in origami. Ha! <laughs> if anyone messes with me now, they'll feel the wrath of my flying rabbit! Not to mention my dancing giraffe! Ha! <laughs> There was this big shadow on his window, like a rabbit or something. Maybe Walter's turned into a rabbit. He's always eating lettuce. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? You know, with my origami hawk. <laughs> origami? Isn't that making flowers out of paper napkins? That's just for beginners. I do the martial arts version. I am the prince of paper, the phantom of the fold, the oligarch of origami. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't care what sort of ollie what's it you are. That stuff's for wussies. My martial art's much better. Oh, really? And which martial art would that be? It's called, um, uh, Dendo. <laughs> Very impressive. Told you. Ha! Better than your paper folding any time. Oh! How about a little contest then? Morning break on Thursday. Origami versus Dendo. Okay, bring it on. <laughs> Most important thing in martial arts, you got to know how to fall. So, what's Dendo then, Den? I've never heard of it. Ah, yes. Uh, that's because it's secret, Pie Face, known only to a select few. Well, just me, really. So, explain it to me again, Den. You reckon with this Dendo, you'll be able to take on Walter in a martial arts contest? Come off it, Curly. It's Walter. I'll uh, brush up on some of the finer points. And I know just the right sparring partner. <laughs> that's, that's right, Nasha. You've got to concentrate. There's more to Dendo than meets the eye. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll go easy on you. hi -ya! Beginners look, Nasha. And anyway, you can't just jump out of the way. I've really got to fine-tune me dendo skills, or I'll look like an idiot in front of Walter. All right, let's try again. Now you must prepare for the ultimate origami challenge. I'm ready, Master. First, you fold the paper like this, and this. Like this, and this. And then... <laughs> you have created the mightiest weapon of origami. The fearsome pecking duck. Yes, I've got it. <laughs> the pecking duck. Now, you truly are a black belt in origami. But remember, as the sensei has said, a little pecking is a dangerous thing. Yes. Yes, a dangerous thing. Peck, peck. <laughs> you know what, Nasha? Either you'll have to take on Walter, or I'll have to get some help. I must consult the one whose words bring light to the unenlightened, the wise one. Dennis! Oh, you startled me. Sorry, Gran. Oh, no matter. What can I do for you? Well, the thing is, I've got into this martial arts contest with Walter. Enough. Favourite grandson. 
I know you have entered into a foolhardy enterprise which could put life and limb at risk. You think? Even though it's only Walter in his soppy origami? Of course! Haven't you ever had a paper cut? Oh, it can really hurt. So, listen to me carefully. To gain victory, you must harmonise with the spirit of the universe. Spirit of the universe? Yeah! You must call upon your inner strength. Inner strength, right. But most importantly, you must enter into this contest at one with the forces of nature. Forces of nature, gotcha. Come, we will consult the writings of the masters. Oh. So, favourite grandson, do you understand what you must do? Even though you will be mocked by your enemies? I understand, oh wise one. No matter what they say, I will be sure to follow the forces of nature. Very well. Go! And shut the door after you! Oh, there's a shocking draft in here! I need more time to prepare, Walter. Make the contest after school on Thursday, instead of morning break. Ha! Huh. Very well. But make sure you turn up. We don't want people thinking you're chicken, <laughs> do we? <laughs> don't worry. I'll be there. I don't get it, then. Why are you letting them get away with that? Don't worry, Pie Face. When the time of battle comes, I will be at one with the forces of nature. Let the contest begin! to Dendo than I thought. Ooh, that was a close thing, Den. No, it wasn't, Pie Face. I followed the way of Dendo. I was at one with the forces of nature. You mean you knew it was going to rain? Of course it did. Gran told me. There you go, Dennis. The weather forecast says it's going to rain on Thursday afternoon. All you've got to do is switch the contest to then. <laughs> Dennis, you are truly a master of Dendo. Yes, you must school us in its mystic ways. I will, Curly, and together we shall overcome the wusses of origami. Ow! Family 
fun day at Beano Town Lake. What could be better? Hey! <laughs> now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? There's plenty to do. Here, dig a hole. Ah, this is the lie. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole? Hmm. OK, Nasher old chum. How do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> That'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nasher. <laughs> A flat-billed Beano Town Blue and a Pomeranian Puff Crested Dabbler. Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. What? Buzz off! No! Time for action. Crumbs away! But you quack me up! <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis! <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Hello! What's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in 20 minutes. Uh, OK. This gives me a brain-stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. He's coming. Operation Destiny, Dennis, is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasher. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy. Step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. A nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today, or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> Hooligans! 
typical Dennis. Still causing trouble. <laughs> oh. Ah! If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. Uh oh. I've got ya! Dennis, let go! Ah! This isn't what I planned! Don't worry! I won't let anything happen to you! if I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? <gasps> No thanks to you, Dennis. My nerves are in shreds. Oh, maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky top chip cherry tutti fruity with extra sprinkles. <laughs> no! And while one of them was messing about in a boot, the other one knocked me head first into the lake. Have you seen what they did to my petunias? Do oh, you with all your little hooligans? Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll I'll spring into action like a jet-propelled panther. There they are! Look! Look! Oh, oh, horrible little horrors. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Whoa! Ha ha! What have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well then, that's a that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go. Come on. No! Oh! <laughs> Bullseye! Yeah. And hey, that's for me lupins. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I uh, I uh I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie.
waited for them to do the park up. It's got to be the most amazing park in the world. Yeah, imagine all the brilliant slides and roundabouts you could build in a year. Yeah, maybe they've got water slides and, and a roller coaster. Yay! <laughs> Hang on, where's all the fun stuff? Where's my roller coaster? Maybe the play park's been moved because it's so big and great. Ah, well, we're here now. Might as well make the best of it. Hooray! On me, Ed, pie face! I got it, I got it! Come on this way! Hey, over to me! Oi, you lot! Can't you see the sign? No ball games! We're just playing, mister. I'm not going to win Park of the Year with scruffs like you around. We're just having a bit of fun. I said no ball games. Ah, no one messes with parky bowls. Cooey, Dennis! Isn't it lovely, Dennis? Look at these daisies be picked for me. Daisies? Please! <gasps> Oh, this is just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Dancing game, Dennis. Don't push your luck. Chess in the park. Rally the troops. Fire cannons. Boy, what's your game? No cannons in the park. Didn't you see the sign? But I've been doing these historical reenactments for years. Everyone likes the Colonel's battles. Yes, it's a park tradition. Are those park daisies, madam? Oh, um, um... No battles! I'm not having it! Now, clear off, or I'll have the law on a lot of you. Go on! You've not heard the last of this, you horrid little man. What a rotten day this has turned into. That rotten parky has ruined the place. Dennis, look! Hey, things are looking up. <sighs> it's all the old park stuff. The parky dumped it all. How could he? My favourite swing. Here's that dent from when I fell on the slide. They look like giant dinosaur bones, don't they, Nasha? <laughs> dinosaur bones! Hey, that gives me an idea! Come on, lads! Maybe we'll get our great day in the park after all! Well, it's taken all day. Well, that's the last of it, Dennis. Good! Just time to get to the park before it closes. Now, will you tell us what you're up to? Absolutely! Nasha, would you do the honours? <laughs> <gasps> it's a pond! Oh my! <laughs> it's a pond monster! <laughs> 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 Got him! Hardest turn, boys! <gasps> this can't happen! Not on the first day! Oh, oh, here, get back! Here! Can't you see the signs? <laughs> <laughs> That's fixed him! Full speed ahead! <gasps> are all about. Come on, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have that football game we've waited a year for. Right then, time for kick-off. Did you see the monster, young man? Monster? Uh... Oh, hang on, there's Walter and Parky Bowles. 
Porter, how does it feel to be the only one with actual pictures of the monster? I just want to help science in any way I can. Parky Bowls, a whole year working on the park, and now everyone just wants to see the monster. Will this affect your chance of winning Park of the Year? Oh, yes, absolutely. I put my life and soul into this park. You've said you believe the monster is a hoax. Is that right? Oh, of course it's a hoax. Come on, lads. Park is getting suspicious. Let's go. How could a giant monster exist in a pond this size without us all knowing about it, eh? Mark my words. This is the work of rival park keepers trying to spoil my park. The park's worse than ever now. Yes. Thought that with that monster scaring everyone away, I could have my Waterloo reenactment. Now all these monster hunters are here. If only that monster would come back and scare them off again. Um, I don't think that's very likely, Colonel. What's that? Well, we built the monster to show that rotten parky. You built it? Well done. Serves him right, too. Yeah, but, um... <clears throat> We crashed it in the trees. Crashed, eh? Well, we just need to mount a salvage operation then, eh? A what? Where is it? Ooh, it's freezing out here. Here ah! I am, being blended into that bush for 40 minutes. Oh, why didn't you see? Well, it's my personal best in blending. <laughs> ah! Right, lads, let's get kitted out. We'll soon have this hulk rescued from the ocean floor. What's all this stuff? Scuba gear from my Navy days. Special ops. But the monster's stuck in the trees. It's still in the water, though, isn't it? Plus, you can't have a salvage operation without scuba gear. It wouldn't be right. Why has mine got a palm tree on it? Yes. Well, uh, blending in again, you see. Never know when you'll need to hide in the palm trees. So you didn't just get the stuff on holiday, then? Let's get this monster back out of the water, shall we? Now, I know all about animals, and if there was a pond monster, it'd be a lot smaller, not the size of a whale. I've no doubt this is a ruse by jealous park keepers. Yeah, trying to trash my lovely park. Is Parky Bowls right, or are we walking into the jaws of a giant monster? Let's find out. Jeff, get the witch. <laughs> It's too heavy. We'll never get it back in the water. Ah! We've got a bite, viewers. Good. We'll soon have evidence to expose these rotten hoaxers. Gosh, looks like you were right, Parky Bowls. It is a hoax. Deliberate sabotage, as I thought. Of course, I wasn't scared. A monster that size couldn't exist. There's simply not enough for it to eat in our pond. That was close. Come on, lads. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You're right, Nasha. We've lost the Colonel. Yeah, you see? This is clearly a slide. Uh, these are swing chains. And... <gasps> What's that? As I was saying, it's just a hunk of metal. Real monsters are green and slimy, aren't they? <laughs> and for something to survive on the fish in this pond, as I said, it'd have to be much smaller. How much smaller, exactly? Well, I suppose about the size of a man. Hang on! Over there! There's something in the bushes! This tin can doesn't even have flippers! <laughs> you mean flippers like those? Yes, exactly like that! Ah! A monster! Ah! Ah! Stay away from Beano Town Park! There are real live monsters here! Stay away from Beano Town Park! Leg it! <laughs> I see. How about helping a chap out with his mask, eh? Got stuck in those weeds! <laughs> Looks like we've got our park back! And we don't need slides and swings to have fun here either! No, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that mangy cur scared the life out of me. Come here, you hairy little wretch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a new amp for me guitar! Wow! Thanks, Greg.
Grant, the super loud too. Special extra loud edition with added loudness. Loud then. Comes with these industrial strength earplugs. Fantastic! Let's try it out, eh? It'll have to wait, Dennis. I promised Walter we would be the test audience for his lecture. Walter? Lecture? Oh. Well, of course, the very few of us here who are as smart as I will know that the process is called photosynthesis. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed my talk on the science of flowers. Bertie, if you please. Great! Is it over? Until tomorrow at assembly, yes. This was just a dress rehearsal. You say something? Come on, Nasha. We've got a brand new amp and a world waiting to complain. Now, let their ears beg for mercy. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Go bouncy castle! Sorry, B. Band practice. Got senses to assault, you know. Ding, ding, bouncy castle now! Oh, B. <laughs> Forget it, B. Me music comes first. Now we go, Bouncy Castle. <laughs> it's just not fair. I always have to give in to B. Yeah, her bottom's unbeatable. Or is it? Quick! Sooner we get our gear up into the treehouse, the better. Ten, ten. Yay, park now! Ain't gonna happen, B. <laughs> Me need windy beans. <laughs> Take my windy beans! Come on, tin makers. Let's get set up. OK, then. Ready to rock? Yeah. Just got to plug in and... Hey! Where's the volume knob? The volume knob on my amp's gone! Maybe it's invisible, then. No. I know exactly who did this. Give me that volume knob, B. Then, then, give me windy beans! No way! OK. Me hide, nubby nub. No! Oh! What? Me glad who's here, bouncy pals. <laughs> Hi, Tooth. Uh, uh, Thanks, Jakes. <laughs> OK. Got poo poo nappies. Squirty milk milk. Scary faces. <laughs> Now, me tell plan! Can't we just go and look for the volume knob? And leave the beans unprotected? No, she only needs one can. We have to let B make the first move. <laughs> ah! What was that? <laughs> Yuck! Okay, lads, get the light bulb. Just give us the location of the volume knob and you can go. Okay, have it your way. Curly, bring me the soap and water. It's bath time. <gasps> Uh -oh. 
where the volume knob is, or I will give you a kiss. Oh, Dennis, no! I know what I'm doing, Curly. No! OK, me tell. Me head knob. Walter, Dennis will be your flower. <gasps> no! Good morning, children. At today's assembly, we have an extra special treat for you. Just think floral, Dennis. Now let's go check our props, Dudley. And don't think you can dodge this, Dennis. I'll be watching. Me? Thought you were grounded. Me escape. Me sorry, Den Den. Yeah, me too, B. Me help. How? In three minutes' time, Beano Town's biggest menace will be Beano Town's biggest laughing stock. So, unless you know how to empty a school hall in under. <gasps> of course! B, your bottom can empty any room in seconds. But no beans! Yeah, they're all still in the treehouse, and Dad's boarded that up. All right, team, on stage, please. Great! Master, master, for Den Den! Oh, a spotlight and a full house. What more could one want? <laughs> Paper bag. Think I'm going to puke. So, without further ado, let us raise the curtain on... <laughs> Oopsie. Once B brings that volume knob, this new amp is finally gonna rock Beano Town! Glad you two aren't fighting now. Yeah, we're a good team. Yep, you're a sis in a million, B. B's got a nubby nub nub! Great! Where'd you hide it then? Oh, brilliant! Disgusting, but brilliant! Excuse me, but don't you think that's a little loud? Loud? Hey! Oh, no, 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 carry on. Uh, my mistake. <laughs> 